South Africa remains the rape capital of the world. We have one of the highest femicide rates in the world. And we kill more children than countries at war. So essentially there's a war on the bodies of women and children in this country. This is actually where we started the journey with organizing civil society around our call to action to march on the 1st of August. There was an actual commitment from all parties that they really want to see gender-based violence being put on the national agenda. And it resulted in the president signing off and basically agreeing to all 24 of the demands that we had submitted on the 1st of August. So I think it was a great victory for women in this country and it was a great victory for the movement. Somehow we felt at the time that we paid some homage to the lives that we had lost to the scourge. We stand with the women of South Africa. Their right to safety needs to be protected. Their right to freedom of expression and right to agency.